Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first proper review video of the new club season and yes this is Austria only because of the eight leagues I'm looking at the Austrian league is the only one that has already games played we have actually three weekends to cover which started with the cup round then we had two Bundesliga rounds and actually quite some things are already happening in Austria that I find rather exciting to see i'm wearing lask for them the start of the season while not uh super perfect was showed many positive signs let's put it this way that you know i think my mood it was rather down towards the beginning of the season i has much improved overall um but what really makes it interesting to me is that salzburg got a really tough program to start they already have a loss and it seems that yeah, it might be a little bit tighter this league Salzburg doesn't seem to be settled yet yes it is very early in the season there's not much that can be said uh, but Sturm Graz really did it to them and we'll talk about that game of course as well so for me Sturm Graz definitely a positive uh, uh, part of the season and then the leader at the moment is Rapid who had three games in Austria in, uh, in um, the Austrian home competitions three times one one nil and I think even three times it was Burgstaller who scored the winning goal they're perfect they're on top of the table and they're not happy uh, I think overall they had five games where they scored five goals uh, conceded only one that was in European play, but we'll talk about the Euro, uh, um, European competitions once we get there to the playoff stage. So yeah, uh, interesting things happening. I would say we'll get right in. You see, I have slightly changed the layout of my um, uh, files by adding a flag and also putting the <laughs> uh, where I say which season what around we're looking at I put this now on top I think uh, makes it a little bit easier to look at uh, in, in in a way and I will try to do this for the other um, competition as well the cup round you have here uh, a selected results of the uh, top 10 from the last se season in the Bundesliga and you can see all of them played away from home all of them won this literally has not happened. And it's also all the other teams, Hartberg won and also Alltag won. All 12 Bundesliga teams made it to the next round. Uh, as I said, Rapid probably had the most work in Treibach, uh, getting a late goal. But then uh, Salzburg was 3-0 over Fügen. Yeah, that, that, that's all right, I would say. Uh, I think uh, Tirol had a little bit hard to work. Uh, and also Wolfsburg a bit, but you know, overall it was rather, rather easy. Looking now, uh, picking out two other games, I mean, Sturm, very easy over this Austria Wien. This was an interesting duel. It was against the fourth league, but they played in Wales, which is a city very close to Linz. Uh, I think it's the eighth largest city in Austria overall. Something uh, there, definitely top 10. Um, but in, in, it's about that now investor and former vice president of Lask, Jürgen Werner, comes from Wales. There are a lot of connections there. So I found that an interesting and I see matchup. And of course, Lask had absolutely, I mean, after a minute, they were down 1-0. But after 15 minutes, I think they turned the game around and then it was only going one way. 9-1, that really, really showed and also showed that Marin Ljubicic uh, scored a hat-trick. Um, guy from Croatia, lonely for Hyde Hyde, split with, a, uh, with an option to buy. Really, really strong showing and actually wetting a little bit the appetite for uh, the league. We already know the second round uh, pairings, but I think the... Dates are not yet fixed, that's why I have not put them in yet and will do this uh, when it comes around. They are pay, uh, played on the last weekend in August, so uh, 30th and 31st of August, but uh, I'll show them once we get there. Let's move over to the league. In the first uh, round, uh, the league opened with a, a, a game between Salzburg and Austria. And the result is rather clear. But in the first half, Austria win really gave Salzburg some trouble and loads to think about. But in, in the end, Salzburg just proved too strong. Lask with a super impressive first half where I think it should have been more than two goals, to be honest. Um, uh, especially Marin Ljubicic uh, playing uh, Klagenfurt left and right, loads of pressure. Uh, slightly different play, not this uh, chaotic uh, high press, but you know, a little bit more um, 
how to say a little bit more brain uh, when you do it and actually it's nice to see I'm getting around um, this may may work as I said slight positive signs for me uh, I still let's wait for final judgment but at the, at the moment I am op optimistic uh, after the half of the client of course more I want to make some changes immediately concede by a goal from Lubicic uh, and then I think the only down Tansi did have 60 minutes last stop playing uh, conceded the red card uh, stupidly for Michal uh, and then Klangfurt scored another goal I really thought you know 3-0 I was actually hoping for 4 nil because then he would be ahead of Salzburg which would mean after one round you're in first place so it was only second place uh, the game between Wolfsburg and Sturm Graz and then 1-1 one, one, uh, Sturm Graz really thinking that they can challenge Salzburg this uh, time at the time around Slightly disappointed, but I think the draw was a fair result. Lustenau, promoted team, come back. 2-1 win over Tirol. Hartberg also had a beating Altach with Miro Klose. And as I said, a rapid win uh, with a very workmanlike win over Reed. Come this weekend. Uh, very similar results, but I think uh, the outstanding result definitely is Sturm Graz win. I already said over Salz, that's going to show of Rasmus Hoylund, a uh, Danish guy that is at the moment heavily linked for leaving Sturm Graz. Personally, I the way that what he showed here, I think he is ready for a um, higher league. Um, it would be bad for Sturm Graz for sure. On the other side, uh, if I think from a last perspective, yeah better not play him uh, the Sturm Graz had uh, already two chances I mean one cross that just landed on the cross uh, the cross but Salzburg really didn't look sorted and Sturm Graz was very very aggressive um, and putting Salzburg on, under loads of pressure uh, and then the goal came from such a pressure where there's a throw in back uh, to a defender who then a side passes it to the goalie who you know or, or, or already a sloppy pass and the goalie cannot can can really control it it goes by pass and Hoyland just needs to tackle it over the line uh really really easy goal and then Sturm even uh, uh, had more chances uh to make a score and even more convincing and then uh after the break uh Salzburg of course coming out and get immediately called in the counter where Hoyland gets the ball in his own half uh he's on a one-on-one -on -one easily goes past his uh player and puts in this Hoyland this looked like Holland this goal uh absolute mega goal uh very late uh Kiergaard, I think another Dane it was a Danish evening uh scores a uh, admittedly cool goal for Salz who had the chance to equalize but that was a very very deserved win for Sturm uh that definitely sent a marker to the entire league that if this team can stay together and that and this is the big if but if this team, this is very well coached team, this could be a challenger to Salzburg. The way they, they played under coach Ilzer. I was actually expecting a little bit already last season. And I'm a little bit sad that, you know, Lask actually was thinking about him when Glasner left. Maybe it would have been a better. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tirol uh, get back uh, to winning ways with a 2 1 over Hartberg. Klagenfurt uh, lose at home to uh, Rapid uh, on a penalty, hands penalty. One of those, you know, very close on, but the hand is out. Yeah, whatever. And what can I say about Austria, Wien, uh, uh, playing Lask? Uh, I think first half, um, slight advantage in play for Austria, Wien, who have four Lask play, former Lask players, one injury still, uh, which really, really, really hurts. To be honest, especially James Holland to see him and uh, also uh, all three there they were playing James, James Holland, Holland, Andy Gruber, and Reinhold Ranftl, who is on loan from Schalke. All three, uh, it hurts a little bit. Although on the other side, all three were kind of on the outs, uh, on the you know, on the fringe of the of, of the score. So maybe yeah. It's all right uh, in that sense, but it was really hard to see them fight against us as well. And of course, they had a little bit up the sleeve. On the other side, um, it was Lask that had the better chances. Uh, they were more, I mean, there was only one really dangerous scene from Austria where there was, I, I would say, two, if not three more dangerous scenes from Lask. One, uh, I don't understand how the referee, I mean, Nakamura gets the ball, stops it right in front of the line, and the, and the ref says it's out. Uh, I still don't understand how this can happen. 
because that would have been really dangerous and you know if the strikers are a little bit more uh looking out for for Vajardic, there could have been a few very dangerous situations um the game in the second half uh again Oscar starting a little bit stronger but then it it was very uh fighting you know there was a lot of fight in there um teams neutralizing and then out of normal, Lou, Lubitsch gets on the ball. Austria Vienna defenders give them him ample of space and he puts it in. 1 0 for Lask. Uh, then Kuluris comes on, our new Greek uh, attacker. Um, and he misses an absolute sitter. I mean, he's free and goal three meters out and center and he puts it wide. Uh, if you make it 2 0 there, the game is done and doesn't, and it was a routine win, but so it came as it should have. It probably was fair uh, that a long ball. Hits Lukaneda on his on the head, right in the path of and former last player Andy Gruber, who uh, also uh, in his first game for Lask scored against Austria. So there's a little bit he's his rare. He scores the equalizer. Um, first doesn't want to say so but then and then you can see he's clearly happy that he scored that goal. And you know, I have to say, let him celebrate. I don't like this uh, political correctness there. So yeah, after those two rounds, uh, we have the following standings, and this is now again regular season. Uh, the top six with Rapid Vienna, the only team, as I said, that won every game, every game won nil and without convincing, but being up there. Sturm Graz and Lask ahead of Salzburg, so uh, that's a pretty, pretty big one. Aus der Vienna still with negative points, they had minus three for financial irregularities from the last season. Uh, Wolfsburg has to be seen where they go uh, from there. That, 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 that's the only of the top teams together with Austria that are, not, that are still a little bit struggling, but again, early early in the season not uh, much can be said at this moment uh we can also have a look at the expect expected standings uh the only thing that is of note to me here is that austria wien the, thanks to the three points deduction and are now not at this moment scheduled not to make the top six they already have quite a distance you know nine uh points to rapid um and six to sturm uh and lask so i uh, it will be a little bit of a struggle. Salzburg still should make it easily, but the early signs for Salzburg were not very promising for for for, for them. I also show the final expected standings, but uh, there's really not much we can say at this moment. Um, I want to also show you the uh, games of the next round, which will happen this weekend. I think the big game is Wolfsburg against Glask. Uh, those are the those are the that's the, that's definitely the strongest matchup. Why it's not the late matchup? Is a little bit beyond me. Maybe it has to do with no. Salzburg is not playing in Europe at, at the moment, so I really don't understand why this is happening this way. But you know, I'm happy with the five o'clock kickoff on the other side. There's also German Bundesliga, so there might be a little bit of overlap. But you know, so be it. I got the a streaming package, so at least I can watch it. All, um, but that is a story for another video if I make one. So yeah, that's it from the Bundesliga. Next weekend, we already will be talking um, German Bundesliga and Austrian Bundesliga, so I still will keep it up. Um, if I will do one, because I have not yet decided, I think I want to do at most two review videos each week, so I might switch things around a little bit. Depending on what has been happening, I will decide which ones go first. Uh, so the, I will for sure not do uh, five videos Monday, Tuesday. You will probably get one on Monday, one on Tuesday. And I will pick which uh, leaks I will talk about to get also a little bit the larger picture overall. Also makes it a little bit uh, easier on me. In any case, uh, please let me know what you thought about uh, or, or what you think about where the Austrian Bundesliga is going. Uh, will we have a title race? Signs of a title race, maybe. We'll see. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.